Welcome to day six of the 60 day challenge to CCNA. Today, again, review yesterday's lessons notes in detail because it was a pretty big lesson yesterday. Today we're looking at network address translation, which is shortened as NAT. You obviously need to understand what NAT is, what it does and why we have it. And then you need to understand your three configuration options for NAT as well. Static NAT, dynamic NATs, where you configure a pool of addresses to be used, and NAT overloading. You also should configure three, the three options for NAT as hands-on labs. And you need to do this many times over. I also recommend you look at troubleshooting. I don't think they specifically cover it in the syllabus. I'll have to check, but there are configuration mistakes that a lot of people make, which actually stops NAT working. And uh, if you if you commit one of those mistakes, and obviously your NAT isn't going to work on your network. So I'll just go through the NAT chapter briefly. Uh, configure NAT different types of NAT. I can't, um, I've covered NAT, NAT troubleshooting, like I said, I'm not sure if they actually mention it in the exam. So explain what NAT is, what it does in simple terms, and then going into how NAT actually works. You need to understand your type of addresses, outside global, inside global, outside local, inside local. Your static NAT and why you'd use it, your NAT pool, NAT overload, which is pretty simple, just one command, and then make sure you do some exam questions from whichever book you're using, and then go through some hands-on NAT labs. So that's all for today. That should take you, including the revision from yesterday, two hours.